everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we're going to put some of that seafood seasoning to use and we're going to show you how to make perfectly boiled shrimp in a beautifully seasoned broth called a court bouillon. We're gonna serve it up with some of that delicious remoulade sauce that we made in a previous video. We're gonna tie all this up in a bow and it's perfect for summer snacking. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today I'm going to show you how to make perfectly delicious boiled shrimp. This is the kind of shrimp that you, the way you wanna cook shrimp for a shrimp cocktail or a shrimp salad, um, the way you wanna make shrimp. If you're gonna do peel and eat shrimp, in which case you would leave the shells on completely. But today we're gonna to start off with two pounds of 1620 uh, these are Argentinian red shrimp. They have the tails on, but the shells have been removed and they've been deveined. You can buy them like this frozen. You can buy uh, shrimp from your local fishmonger. I live on the east coast of North Carolina and we are able to source beautiful shrimp. Could not find larger shrimp this time, so I went ahead and I got these. We've had these before and thrown them on the grill on skewers and they're amazing. They're super delicious and when I can buy them already peeled and deveined, that's a plus because it makes this really, really simple. We're gonna use two whole lemons. I'm gonna squeeze the juice into the cooking water and I'm also gonna put the lemon shells in the water as well. We're going to make a bouquet garni and I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's really just a spice pouch that's going to cook in the water, season the water, and therefore season the shrimp when we cook it. So I have one cup of our um, homemade seafood or crab boil that we uh, did in a previous video. We're also going to uh, make the water saline, like seawater, with a quarter of a cup of kosher salt. And I also have about two tablespoons of your favorite seafood seasoning. This is my homemade version and I will leave a link to my um, copycat Old Bay. You can use Old Bay or whatever your favorite seafood seasoning is. We're also gonna use about eight cups of water. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to make a bouquet garni. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a bouquet garni and that is simply a spice pouch that you would use to season water. Um, also, bouquet garni can be a uh, bundle of herbs that is tied together and used to season a broth or a soup or a stew. And then later it's fished out. Um, this is using dry spices, so we wanna make a pouch. So what I have here is I cut a flour sack towel. This is clean, brand new flour sack towel. I cut it in four. And this is gonna be just big enough for me to take my one cup of crab boil that we made and we're just going to gather up the sides. You don't have to be so gentle with this. You really want this well tied together. So give it a twist. I have some kitchen twine here and I'm just gonna tie this up very well. And I'm gonna tie it more than one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of flip this around, cross it over, flip it again, cross it over, flip it one more time, and then I'm gonna tie it again twice. And then you can just take your scissor and you can trim that off. If your uh, square is a little large, you can always trim that down if you want to, but you can either reuse this or you can throw it away. It's completely up to you. Now you're going to be ready to toss this in your cooking water. So now we're gonna move on and we're gonna make our cooking liquid for our shrimp. All right, I have my pot with about eight to 10 cups of water. You're gonna need to make sure you have enough water that your shrimp are gonna be covered when you put it in here. So what we're gonna do, I have it over a medium high heat. We're gonna put in our salt and we're gonna give this a good stir just until it dissolves. Now I'm using kosher salt. You can use regular table salt, but I would only use half the amount because regular table salt is, um, is smaller grain and it's more intense. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you're using a fine grain Himalayan pink salt, I would use only two tablespoons to uh, 
salt this water. So that's good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our seafood seasoning. Now remember, this may or may not have salt in it, depending if you're using a commercial brand, it's definitely got salt in it, unless you've purchased one that specifically says that it is salt free. Here is where you can uh, adjust things up a little. You can add uh, cayenne pepper, and if you're going for a Creole style New Orleans boiled shrimp, then you're gonna wanna add some cayenne pepper in here. I'm not doing that because I have red pepper flakes in my seafood uh, crab boil. It smells good already. It does, right? And then we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna squeeze the lemons in here and float those those lemon shells because that's gonna lend a lot of flavor to your cooking liquid as well. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put our bouquet garni of crab boil in here. Now, a lot of times, look, you guys, don't feel like you have to make your own crab boil. I did that because it was fun and I thought it might be an interesting thing for you to know how to do. But always know, you can buy a bag of crab boil in the spice section of your grocery store. There are brands that make it, it comes in a little muslin bag and you just pop it in the pot or in your big kettle if you're doing a crab boil or a shrimp boil, then you don't even have to worry about it. Just toss it on in. All of the right spices are gonna be in there for you. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes to get all those flavors in there. We're gonna hydrate these dry spices. We're gonna get them flavoring up what is now called officially in French, a court bouillon. And we're gonna wait for this to come to a simmer and we're gonna simmer it for 10 minutes. When we come back, we're gonna pop our shrimp in there and I'll show you how that all looks. All right, our court bouillon or cooking liquid has been simmering for about 10 minutes. Now, I brought it up to a simmer and then I started timing it for 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure that this bouquet garni with all of our spices in it has given up the ghost. So I'm gonna remove that because it's gonna give me more room in here for all of the shrimp that I'm gonna be putting in here. I have my shrimp. Some of it might still be partially frozen, but um, I had had it thawing out. And shrimp is pretty much readily available all over the place in your grocery store. Just look for a really good one. And like I said, Ain't no shame in my game. I don't care about buying it already peeled and deveined. If I'm gonna eat it that way anyway, it saves me some time. And that way I'm actually paying for what I'm getting. So I have turned this down to medium heat. So it's not really boiling too much. We want the shrimp to have a nice bath, but we don't want to overcook it. So we wanna cook it until it is opaque and pink and beautiful, so that's gonna take just under five minutes. In fact, at this point, I'm going to turn off my burner and I'm just gonna let this sit in its nice little hot tub for just a few more minutes and then when we come back, we're gonna, we're gonna slip it into an ice bath and wake it up to make it stop cooking. So I'm gonna go get my ice bath prepared and I'll be right back and then we'll move on. I've taken the lemons out just to get them out of the way. Our shrimp have been soaking in here for just under five minutes and they are perfectly done. Now I'm just gonna plunge these because we're gonna eat them for lunch and we're gonna eat them cold with the remoulade sauce that I made in a previous video. If you're gonna be cooking more than one batch of shrimp or maybe you're gonna throw some crabs, if you're doing this in a larger pot, then I would just use it until you were done cooking all your seafood. But right now I'm done, so it's going down the drain and it's done its job and I'm excited and I'll be right back with a platter full of beautiful, perfectly cooked boiled shrimp and remoulade sauce. Well, there you have it. I plattered up our shrimp with the remoulade sauce for you. Feel free to eat this with cocktail sauce or a tartar sauce, whatever is your favorite thing. This would also be delicious dipped in some drawn butter if that's your jam and really just with a squeeze of lemon, uh, this is so delicious. I'm gonna have Rick try one in the remoulade because he hasn't done that yet. I have to. You ready? What do you think? Mm. That's really good. So this is how you would make perfectly cooked shrimp for a shrimp salad, a shrimp louis, a shrimp cocktail, or just to put out a big old platter of shrimp at your next party or get together. I hope that you found this helpful and useful. I hope that you give this a try sometime soon, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.